Welcome to another episode of Food Finders. Finders. Today we have a special guest with us. We have Queenie. Hi, I'm very excited to be here to explore Chinatown. Yeah. So in today's episode, we're gonna explore Chinatown itself and the areas around it that's definitely walking distance. Right, so Chinatown in Singapore used to be an enclave for the Chinese immigrants, but it is not just all the historical or traditional buildings. Yes, we will bring you to good places, good food and of course, good deals if you book through Clue. So, shall we? Let's go! Put on your mask. Oh, totally <laughs> forgot. Okay, okay. So we're here at Nanyang Old Coffee for breakfast, our very first stop. Nanyang Old Coffee is trying to show that Singapore coffee can be as good or even better than Western style of coffees. So here at Nanyang Old Coffee, there is a unique coffee workshop as well and a coffee museum. So you can actually learn about the history of Singapore's coffee and how it has re really evolved. Let's dig in and see how it goes. So I, I actually like the uh, traditional style where they use like the thick kayatos. There are some players that use like a very thin crust. Yeah. Mm. The butter and the kaya is very fragrant. Actually, this is my favorite kind of breakfast. Like, I always make um, half boiled egg and then I will dip this in. Let me try dipping it into my tea. <laughs> That's very innovative. <laughs> very Can we try the bakute? Okay, next up, let's try bakute. I can taste that this one like is a bit more zhong kou Is it okay for you? Well, I mean normally you eat bakute with like rice or so la, so oh, yeah. or like with yutiao or something. Mm. So this will like actually mix with the rice, so it's, it's actually okay that it's a bit more savoury. Uh, the soup too nice, I'm just like trying to finish Yeah, it. I'm gonna finish that later. Are you excited for the chilli crab pasta? Actually chilli, chilli crab <laughs> spaghetti is something that has been here up. and there in Singapore. Oh shit, this is spicy. <laughs> Not very spicy. Yeah, I think you never think it's it was okay. It's a bit I spicy. Think, uh. I actually didn't like the pineapple with the. I think it's, if I, it's still finding it weird. A bit weird. <laughs> still really? Still finding it a bit weird. This is probably more a uh, lunch mm. item la, rather yeah. than breakfast. If you book through Cloak, you can actually enjoy 30% off the set main courses here at Nine Old Coffee. With drinks? with drinks. And also on Clue, you can actually book the workshop that we were talking about. So it's your own DIY coffee making workshop. And Seth actually said that he liked his own coffee blend better Oh, than, I made a yeah. pretty good coffee, yeah, I think. I yeah. think it's probably one of the, or the only traditional coffee making workshop in Singapore. So you don't want to give this a miss. So now that you are full of energy after your good cup of coffee, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and explore the rest of Chinatown. Woohoo! Let's go. Let's go. So now we're here at Spring Court for lunch. So the brand has been around since 1929, but they've actually shifted around uh, in different parts of Singapore. And we're gonna try some of their famous dishes. Can we start with the chicken first? Oh, sorry, I'm chicken. a chicken person. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm, this is so nice. Oh my god. Oh, I'll finish this whole plate. I'm gonna finish this whole plate. Pretty damn good. <laughs> I think it really complements the chicken. Nah. It's mm. like slightly sweet, but the chicken is like more salty, savoury. Um, yeah, it's a very easy to eat. And how do they roast this? The skin <coughs> is very, very crispy. Mm. Very, very crispy, yeah. That's true. So shall we move on to the Let's oni? Let's try the next dish. Oni? No lah, oni dessert. Okay. Leave it for the Popia last first then. Yeah. Let's do the popia first. Mm -hmm. The spring court popia is a freaking big popia. <laughs> Oh, you can just use your hand. Wait, not possible to stuff it, I think, in your mouth. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Okay. Oh, you can't say it's spicy, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, usually, my spice level is like, yes. if it's a mala scale, xiao la. I think this is like a zhong la. No, it's quite spicy. Oh, it's quite spicy for you also? Okay. Mm. It's very chiang for me. Okay, quite a lot of the soy, the soy bean, like the bean curd kind of layer. It's very thin. I like, like the, the skin. skin. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice mix. But I think the spice is, the, the chili that they put inside is quite unique to spring corn as well. 
and probably like one of their sort of signatures. Uh. Moving on to something sweet, let's try to drop out like your ankle. <laughs> you can actually taste the pandan flavor. It's quite unique. Uh. Not many places will actually like, infuse pandan into their liu sha bao. How do you find the liu sha? Do you like flowy enough? Yeah, and the taste. Just nice, not too sweet. Not too sweet, not too salty. Mm. You know, just nice. Just nice. So yeah, this is Chapao. Ta -da. Very good. So lastly, we're gonna try the dessert, which is the Oni. It's a typical Teochew dessert. Let's try oh. some. What's a Teochew dessert? Yes. I'm is, Teochew, uh, but. Teochew. Are uh, you Teochew? I don't really. You don't know you have Oni. <laughs> Very nice, eh? How are you convert? And you like your cultural dessert? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's my inner Teochew. You see that the plates, they have like the flower patterns oh, that they flower. use. I appreciate such details. It is actually a very nice ambience uh, to bring your family to. What you see or what you pay for is what you get. So after trying all these dishes, I'm sure you guys will want to try them as well. So if you book through Cloak, you actually get a 15% discount. So, how full are you now after lunch? I'm actually very full. We eat quite a lot. Really? But I heard yeah. girls got a second room for dessert one. Oh? Is that true? That's true. That's true? Well, guess what? We're going to a dessert place next. You're having dessert? Yes. I'm always up for dessert. Let's go. Let's go! So we're at Kyung Siak Bakery today to try some of these beautiful Cakes. This concept is a mix of tradition along with more modern uh, representations of the pastries and cakes that we're going to try today. So we're going to try four uh, cakes and pastries today. So shall we dig in? Okay, let's try. This is a burnt cheesecake craftin, which is two very trendy things mixed together, yes. which is the craftin and the Basque burnt cheesecake. Oh, yeah. I love the cheese. Okay. This combination goes very well together. Oh my god. I think it's great textures. Crispy exterior. Really goes well with like the liquid, melty uh, cheesecake. Dun, 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 dun. I can finish it eh, even though we just had lunch. Okay, let's try the next one. Lo Hitam Burnt Cheesecake. Okay, this one is way more cake-like than, you know, the craftin definitely. You can still taste like the black glutinous rice like, together with the cheesecake yeah. as well. It's quite surprising, like, I wouldn't like put uh, cheesecake and pulo hitam together. Yeah, it's an like, interesting it mix. So, shall we go with their signature? Yes, let's try. This is the saw hay pastry, which is their signature pastry at uh, Kyung Siak Bakery. Ooh, no wonder this is their signature. Even though there's no filling, but the, this is the skin, very nice texture. I think cause like it's made in like sort of a Intertwine way yes, and like sort of the word. In, in layers. Um, it's actually very light. There are chocolate bits to it. I like something oh, with oh, a oh. bite. La. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Mm. yeah There's chocolate chip. I'm going to finish everything after this. <laughs> oh wow, really? After all the heavy lunch we had? There's always room for dessert. Obviously, there's a separate stomach. Okay, so our last, Let's try the last. dish this is the Chendo Delight. Oh my god, this is like chendo. So, although it looks quite dense, it's actually quite light. Um, I think it's coconut in, in the cream as well. Yeah, it's not too gelat. So, what's your favorite out of all these three? Favorite? Mm, definitely the burnt cheesecake. Ah, uh, okay. No, I think it's the sweetest actually. The, okay, it's a. Uh, crispy, crispy, crispy yes. Flaky and crispy, Crust. and then the inside Crusty? is like. Oh gooey, so it goes really well together. The saw yeah. hay is actually my favorite. If, if it was a like plain pastry, I would, I would not really like it as much. But there's like bits of chocolate chips inside, yeah. and goes well with the coffee. Yeah, cause it's not too sweet. It's I think probably the least sweet out of like all the the desserts for the saw hay. So now here's also, a deal for you guys. In addition, you can get up to ten percent off dining vouchers when you book through Cloak. Shall we move to our next place? Yeah, yeah. let's go. So let's check out next place. Let's go. So we're at our last location of the day for dinner and we're here at Jekyll and Hyde. Right, so Jekyll and Hyde, uh, as the name suggests, there are two sort of uh, different concepts. concepts. So the bottom uh, is it's more... It's like you know, like brunch vibes, mm. brighter with like green. And then the top, which we are at, is like an open bar. Dimmer, yeah. more chill, yeah, it's really yeah. for drinking vibe. 
Dragon Hype is a concept that wants to promote modern Singaporean dishes. So there are a lot of ingredients and suppliers and uh, producers that are local and a lot of very familiar uh, dishes that Singaporeans will love in their drinks and the food. Yeah, so we're gonna start with our first dish, the Wagyu Chakui Tiao. Mm -hmm. Shall we dig in? Yes. Okay. Just gonna try the kueh first. The Chakui Tiao by itself, a bit of spiciness, uh, and it's quite savory. You get a lot of the oily flavors inside. Then you add on the, the Wagyu beef, uh, which is also a very fatty cut. Uh, but this Wagyu beef that they use is not an A4 like melt in your mouth kind of uh, Wagyu beef. Like. It mm. still has a bit of bite to it. Yeah. There's a fair amount of fat content in both the, the beef and the charcoal gel itself. Like. So that really blends together. Alright, so I'm very excited to move on to That's the cocktail. The one that you're looking at, right? Jack and I have, of course, <laughs> cocktail bar. You are here to drink cocktails. So the first drink is the Pandan Valley. It's called a nasi lemak in a cup. Bartender, <laughs> nasi lemak in a cup. This is pandan infused whiskey with a soda, so it's like a carbonated coconut water. Yeah. And, and there's this like homemade sambal. It's actually sambal on the cup. It's actually sambal. Yeah, For the so whole they... nasi lemak experience. Okay, I thought it would be very weird because I don't like to mix my sweet and savory stuff together, but the chili actually brings out the taste. Like, there's this like spiciness to it. Ew. There's like heavy yam in the, in the sambal yeah, yeah, that we yeah. use. And it's more on the sweeter side. So I think that really matches with the, the whole cocktail. Mm. Mm, I can still taste the whiskey. Is that good? Is that good? Mm. Mm. Can you taste the pandan? Like the pandan is, yeah. is there. Like, it's not like wow, like damn strong pandan. Yeah, it's like hello. 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 <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're moving on to the last drink. This yeah. is called uh, Beauty in a Cup. Um, it's made it smells with very healthy. Snow fungus, yeah. uh, longan, uh, wolfberries. So it's all infused inside here. So it's like a very traditional Chinese dessert. And like the thing is that I cannot smell the alcohol. It smells like ginseng actually. Do you, do you get like a ginseng yeah, 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 yeah. bite? I like, um, like chrysanthemum with ginseng. So mm. I actually really like this. This is actually very good. Like you like chrysanthemum. Yeah, the chrysanthemum is just screaming. Ah, chrysanthemum! So do we have a deal for them? Yes, we do actually. You can save up to 25% off the cocktails when you book through Kluk. So we've come to the end of our Chinatown food trail for this episode of Food Finders. What was your favourite experience today, Chpini? Wow, we had four meals together today. Thank you so much for having me. I tried a lot of amazing food. But since I have a very sweet tooth, my favourite has to be the Kyong Siap Bakery. Really affordable prices and very good range. Hmm. Yourself? Uh, my favourite would definitely be the Jekyll and Hyde experience. So <laughs> the cocktail bar that serves such a wonderful cha kway teow, that was very unexpected for me. That's not the one that you're... And also, <laughs> the modern Singapore-inspired uh, cocktails, I think those were very beautifully done, very balanced drinks, and definitely that was the best experience in Chinatown for me. So has today changed your perception of how Chinatown is like? Mm, I would say yes, because at first I thought you know it's for my grandma and grandpa to be here. But actually I realised right, that there's a lot of young crowds here. I think it's because there's a lot of restaurants, cafes, and also like a lot of places to take Instagrammable photos. And also, it's very near the MRT, and all the streets are very linked together, so it's very easy to get from places to places. And so after today, I realised that there's so much more to Singapore than I thought. So if you think the same as well and you'd like to explore more of Singapore, you can check out Klook's website for more good deals. For all our subscribers, we have a unique promo code that is in the description. So check it out if you want to enjoy good deals on Klook.